What's that? <clears throat> what is happening, everybody? Big Jew here, and um, I'm going to do a holiday special uh, for this year, a little bit early, uh, as you know, as you may or may not know. Uh, tonight's the first night of Hanukkah, so what I'm going to do is, in a dark side fill fashion, I'm going to do eight videos a day, a night for the eight crazy nights of Hanukkah. Um, and I'm going to play a series of video games that I've been meaning to play for a while, but I haven't gotten to it. But now I feel is a really good time to do it. So, what series of games am I going to play? I'm going to try and get through all three games, by the way. I don't know how that's going to work out, but I really hope I can do it. So, let's go. Yeah, I did a holiday special last year, but I didn't really like it, so... But this year is different. This year I'm actually going to like it. I'm going to play... Yeah, the Final Fantasy Legend games. Awesome. Let me turn on the sound here. Options, sound, unmute. Uh, okay, this is coming off. This is going off to a great start, isn't it? Aha! There we go. Oop. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This game is one of my. F well, this series is one of my favorites for the uh, Game Boy in general, actually. It's just really, really good, really creative, and everything like that. So let's go and get started here. Uh, they have a ton. All three games have a ton of replay value. Some of the best that I've ever experienced. So yeah. And uh, I'm not gonna do any any challenges or anything like that. I am gonna play a hacked version of the second game in the series, which is pretty cool. Uh, but for. All intents and purposes, these are going to just be normal playthroughs. And I'm just going to try and enjoy myself. Yeah. Alright. Got some tower connects to paradise. It's pretty cool. Dream a good life in paradise. Many have challenged the secret of the tower, but no one knows what became of them. Now there's another who will brave the adventure. And then period, ellipsis, period. <laughs> Alright, I want to start off with a... Uh, Mutant male. Uh, the people you start off with um, are slightly stronger than those you can recruit. So yeah, but I want to start off with human male or mutant male. Call him J W for me. Or not. All right, here we go. If you want to advance, choose members of the guild. Okay. Advanced meaning recruit. I don't know why they say advanced, but whatever. Where? What the hell? Yeah, they, they did not translate this game too well, but whatever. I want a human guy. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm just going to use phrases that I use. I'll call him lame. <laughs> I'm not going to use, like, you know, I, I guess I could have used, uh, like, DSP and... And, and, and Lee for Panda Lee and John for John Rambo, but I'm not that big a fan of those guys, okay? I'm a, I'm a fan and I like their work, but it, it's it's not like... It's not that, I'm you know, not that big of a fan. So I'm just gonna use my, I guess the terms that I use a lot, you know, like lame, weak, what the hell. I have a lizard named Hell, why not? <laughs> now monsters, uh, in this game, they transform by eating meat of, uh, other, of other enemies. So that's pretty much how they grow. Uh, yeah, you can buy items here. Uh, which, these items are way too expensive for us. To start with no money, that's really, like, that's a, that sucks. And you kind of have to grind. Uh, these strong and agility potions, you can use those on your humans to gain, to, uh, that's how you boost their stats. You don't gain stats by, uh, leveling. Uh, that's how the mutant gains stats, and it's very random. And the stat gains can be somewhat, uh, substantial. HP 200, that'll increase the, uh, human's maximum hit points up to 200. And, uh, yeah, you got, you know, items just so that revive, that'll help, that'll, uh, revive somebody. Of course. What are those hearts there? Well, those hearts are, if your player gets killed uh, and you revive them, you will lose a heart. You lose all three hearts and your player will not be able to be revived and you'll have to 
re-recruit. You can re-recruit anybody who uh, gets killed. Just right off the bat. So, so say your monster gets killed, well just recruit another monster. Or you can change your or you can change your party whenever you want. That's what makes this game so fun. It's that okay, say your human dies and you want like a, another monster or something. Well you just take everything off the take the equipment off the human that you had and make a monster. Alright. Well let's go ahead and talk to everybody there, yeah. Might as well. Now these videos are going to be like roughly 10 minutes to 15 minutes long. Yeah, see? Oh, what's that guy? That looks cool. Probably going to turn it down a little bit. <laughs> so. Really? Interesting. The door he is talking about is... This thing. Locked by the magic of black. Interesting. And that tower leads to paradise. That's the tower that they mentioned in the uh, in the beginning narrative of the game. Cool. Hey, come back here. There we go. Interesting. All right. Okay, so let's head down there then. May as well. Here's our first fight with a uh, lizard. Nice. <laughs> Just like what we have here. Yeah, you start with a long sword, which is pretty cool. If I really wanted to, I could have uh, started with a uh, mutant female. I just realized that now. Uh, you start with a mutant female, and you can you'll have a uh, what do you call it? You'll have a saber, which can sell for a lot of money. But I don't really care. I'm just gonna I'm gonna be leveling anyways. I have save states ready, so you know whenever I need to do something off screen like leveling, I'll be able to do it and not worry about doing it on screen or something like that. Yeah, his enemies are going to be pretty, uh, pretty annoying to beat in the first, in the early goings, just because you do so little damage. But there's a weapon you can get in the uh, next town that uh, will solve that issue pretty quickly, so. And since I don't have any healers, I'm going to have to, uh, uh, go to the end to heal, but that's okay. Now, monster meat, if your monster is the same type, then nothing will happen if you eat it. If your monster eat, eats it, so don't even worry about that at all. But here's a zombie, nice. These guys have 60 hit points. I think. Woohoo, that did a ton of damage. They have less defense themselves, though. Ooh, I may have to just run. Oh, crap. Okay, good. Hit hell, yeah. Good, good. Alright, nice. Woo! Okay, that was close. Ah, huh, interesting. Three kings are fighting for control of the world. Huh. Oh. There's the... There's a house of life in the uh, tower also. The tower of town. <laughs> I don't really care about it. I could have showed it off, but whatever. Yeah, so see that the cumulative hit points that we lost is 51, so it's going to be 51 GP to rest, so, 51 dollars, gil, gold, I don't know what to call it, whatever. Something missing from this statue, hmm, yeah, there is something missing from it, you have to find it. Ah, interesting. Castle Shield is nearby, huh. Shield, armor, and sword, obviously. Armor castles to the south, north, is to the northeast. And so yeah, these guys will tell you that the statue wore, had armor, the shield, and the, and the sword, so. The sword's in the southwest mountains, okay. I like how talking to people actually gives you, you know, you get actual information. <laughs> Instead of just useless nonsense. Yeah, so these are the weapons I'm talking about, bows. You can do uh, 10 to 20 damage with it. And uh, they sometimes miss, but you, they usually uh, make contact. So that's a pretty good weapon for this world. Um, yeah, the whip don't even bother. Uh, punches, uh, you can actually do a decent amount of damage with them. And you get 99 uh, charges, so that's pretty good too. And you can get you know, armor upgrades, stuff like that. 
fire sleep spells. We're gonna be using that later, getting that with our to our mutants. But I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Yeah, we didn't really gain anything, but whatever. Uh, the mutant comes with stealth if you uh, select him as a uh, default player, which is pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, go ahead and. Uh, do some grinding around here. It's gonna take a while, probably a good half hour. That's how much it, uh... Oh, interesting. When the what was intact? When the statue was intact. Yeah, so I'm gonna do some grinding. I have that in a separate save state. And, uh... So I'm just gonna go back to that save state in the next video.